Okay. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> well, you're young. So you'll see in the end. First, it's called uh, genital mutilation for a reason. Uh, Jews even call it a bris and not circumcision. They do these kinds of things to try to uh, make it a little more benign, you know, a little less molesting. First of all, it's sexual in nature. It was. Uh, Circumcision was uh, placed in and put in place as a measure to, uh, as a stopgap measure to masturbation and promiscuous sexuality by the kids. So, and uh, then there's uh, the scholar show called Biblical who say it was handed down by Abraham when he told God, I don't know how to prove to you I love you. God says, well, sacrifice your son. Because we all know that your God loves the sweet smell of bodies burning. <laughs> Come on. You gotta make a sacrifice so your God will be happy. Now, and then he has an angel come down and stay Abraham's hand and say, No, you don't have to do that. I was only kidding. Just slice a piece of his penis and it will be just fine. What? Yeah, it sounds ridiculous because it freaking is. And it, it takes, you know, a kind of like a Stone Age mentality to believe that kind of thing, if you ask me. And, and then you say uh, people that tell the truth, like that uh, Christians and theists are, are delusional. We really believe that. That's not a misquote, it's not a lie. We're not, it's not, it's not destructive criticism, it's constructive criticism. Basically, we would like these people, Christians and theists and Catholics, whatever, to come out of their religious fog and learn some real science, real geography, real, you know. I mean, today, they're actually debating these same people that, you know, debating evolution against creation as if evolution is the whole scientific community or as if they don't use any science themselves and we all know they do or we have these hijack words like faith and uh, belief <laughs> so it, it all comes up they're always gathering together and getting consensus for these things and then people like you come on and uh, just spout it out there you know Calm down. It's okay. Don't pick on those people. And just, you know, we got to be civil. Don't call them names and stuff, please. Listen, we've been trying to appease and kowtow and be civil with these freaking theists for centuries to no avail. What happens? Well, like early days of the, the, the Catholic Church with the poops and all them, they married, they had children, they molested children. They, I mean, they did the whole nine yards and they in the first you know, decrees and uh, kings and queens lived by that word. They were basically theocracies. And you want to... I don't know what... I keep going back to the theocracy thing because that's what the whole... the, the whole circumcision was based on in the first place. Its whole idea was some kind of a spiritual thing. And for what? But in reality... It was a bunch of Jews sitting around a table trying to figure out how they could then torture their kids. I don't get that. We all accept it. And we find out that, that, that circumcision is absolutely unnecessary. And yet, I had some guy come on, he's 35, 40 years old, even 30. I love my uncircumcised penis. And it's, it's done me well, and blah, blah, blah. And yet, the guys never had a certain uncircumcised one. How does he know? You know what I mean? You hear him stuff, but it's just, you know, it's get a grip. The reason for, in fact, so that's what this is important. The reason, the biggest reasoning for erectile dysfunction, the one thing most, on 98% of them have in common, they're circumcised. Makes you want to think. So then you ask and you tell us 
But you don't have to make fun of them and call them names. And they, yeah. But when you try to tell them the honest truth, and you clue them in, and they're so disrespectful themselves that they say some shit like you, some crap like, I understand you're, you know, you're just ill or whatever. You, you haven't seen long, you don't know what you're doing, and, or whatever it is. They like insult you with kindness and try to convince you that their God's going to punish you if you don't. <laughs> Come on. What do you have to understand? What do I have to know? They're delusional. It's a delusional practice. It's like the schizophrenics in hospitals that don't take their pills. Run around the street saying, I'm Jesus. I'm not kidding. And anyway, you're a youngster. What do you really know? Are you circumcised? Probably. You probably have to use lubrication too. To masturbate. To, I can do it with two fingers. We have prey pooses full. Full of receptors. Feeling nerve. So anyway. Point is, there really is no, absolutely no reason for it. And when a, a father like this gets on and brags about how he's going to have his son circumcised or got him circumcised, and with with, and with him it's cosmetic, that's torture and abuse. That's all there is to it. How can you say that out of context? And the answer, you know, you, you when you like sue somebody for slander, the defense to that is the truth. You understand? That's why none of us have been sued or anything, because it's the truth. Can't help it. We put it in regular terms, freedom of speech. Y'all don't like certain words. I don't know what to tell you. This is a YouTube. We're supposed to have free speech. I even had a video taken down, because I don't even know which one it was, what I said. They actually said that I was being sexual. The last thing I do is that, and the first thing is is how I actually am courtly. I, I see it in religions. They're like frustrated, sexually frustrated. So all their little laws all have some kind of little something to do with sexuality in there somewhere. It's just a weird thing. And yet I get accused of being overly sexual. <laughs> Too funny. But that's another one of my reports, and that's a little answer to you, Mr. I love circumcision, or whatever it is. And, you know, it, you go, calm down, maybe you are, maybe you're a whole guy, I don't know. But that was silly. You know, live and live and You can't do that. You know, darn good and well, these Christians and crap are always trying to insinuate themselves into our lives. Bless you this, bless you that. It's nuts. And we're supposed to be the ones to appease them. You know, lick the boot and all that. No, not anymore. Done. I'm 58. I'm not doing it anymore. No more appeasement. No more hiding my language. Nothing but militancy. Oh, of course, I don't have any weapons. I wouldn't even kill anybody. But it's just crazy to think, even think of something like that. Or even beat them up. Anyway, I'm in a wheelchair. Oh, you can't see it? Too bad. Real quick for you. See? Okay? Alright. Take it easy, guys. Good night.